large language models should be treated as your crazy drunk friend. Who said that? Some AI skeptic? No, it was Nand Mochandani, the former CTO of the CIA. But why did he say that? Because LLMs hallucinate constantly. If you look at the leaderboards right now, you'll see that even the best, brightest, shiniest new models still make stuff up all the time. So what can we do about it? Well, in this paper, the authors are trying something new. They're running a large language model and a smaller model in parallel right next to each other. The idea is that the smaller model will double check the larger model's work and flag it when it starts going off the rails. Now, you might be saying, that makes no sense. Why would a smaller model ever be able to do something that a larger one can't? The answer lies in how models overfit. Large, fine-tuned models are trained to maximize accuracy on specific data sets, which makes them powerful, but also prone to confidently producing fluent, plausible-sounding outputs that stray from the source, especially when the training data is sparse or noisy. Smaller models are less capable of generating elaborate or linguistically rich completions and tend to produce more literal, conservative outputs. In that sense, they act as a break on the larger model's tendency to fill in the blanks or overgeneralize. When the two models disagree, when the big model is confident, but the small model doesn't support the same prediction, it can signal that the large model may be hallucinating. At least in theory. On today's episode of Journal Club, we're going to break this paper down, explain the phenomenon that causes hallucinations, walk through the author's new contrastive decoding algorithm, and find out if this idea of running a smaller model sidecar to a larger one really works. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, you'll be getting this episode in text and audio form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.